New York Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Let's talk about the $12 million man, Madison Bumgarner, who will be cheaper than any pitcher that the Yankees will engage when it comes to the Cleveland Indians. Madison Bumgarner is not going to cost you a Miguel Andahar, etc., etc., and not even a Floreal. You're looking at players like Albert Abreu, who the Giants love. They've been trying to trade for him for years now. Maybe a little wise ago, Herman, whatever. They want pitching in return. So a package of a top prospect, or you could consider Loisiga a top prospect as well. Albert Abreu, Loisiga, Herman, whatever, whatever. I can see the Giants biting on an offer like that. Also, the Seminetti source made a great point. You could engage the Indians, but you would have to take a big contract in return, like a Encarnacion or whatever. That means that Andahor and Floreal are off the table. But Madison Bumgarner makes perfect sense, obviously because he's a three-time World Series champion. He's about 29, 28-29, and also has legendary playoff numbers, World Series numbers, etc. Really a better version of Andy Pennant. A lot of people complain about, oh, his velocity dropped Oh uh, yeah, he's been injured for the last two years, not by his fault. One being he fell off his dirt bike, and the other he got hit by a line drive. So it's not like he was pitching and his uh, shoulder popped out. It was freak accidents. So Madison Bumgarner, in my opinion, is the best alternative to, let's say, if you missed out on a Patrick Corbin. And another name being put out there now is Robbie Ray of the Diamondbacks, who has some control issues, but... People might say he's better than Patrick Corbin, obviously. Velocity-wise, he's up there with about two years of control. But, like I said, Madison Bumgarner makes the most sense because he's a winner. All these other guys are untested. Now, Evaldi is said to be signing a four-year deal with the Red Sox. The Yankees aren't going to touch these other pitchers. Hap is probably going to get a three-year deal. And I'm not saying these Cleveland Indian pitchers are untested. They're just going to cost an arm and a leg. I would love Trevor Bauer on the New York Yankees. He talks a lot of smack on Twitter. He is really one of the realest baseball players since Reggie Jackson. Imagine Bauer in New York media. He'll make more headlines than Donald Trump. We all saw the Yankees trying to trade for Goldschmidt, a rental, early in the season. So it's not far-fetched to say that the Yankees would be interested in trading for a rental. I don't know about you guys, but Madison Bumgarner makes the best sense to me. Like I said, put him here in New York. He's already used to high-pressured situations, and he has delivered three World Series championships. Puts up over 200 strikeouts per season. If the Yankees are serious about winning now, that is the picture that the Yankees need to trade for. Period. That rotation right there, Severino, Bumgarner. Tanaka, Paxton, CeCe, or however you want to juggle that. That's the best rotation in Major League Baseball next to the Washington Nationals. So yes, I love the idea of one of these Indian pitchers, but Madison Bumgarner sounds better. Sounds way better to me. Not that I'm saying these Indian pitchers are going to fail in New York. Like I said, Mad Bum is already tested under high-pressured situations. Numerous times. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Yankees missed out on Patrick Corbin. Who do you want the Yankees to target next? We know now Evaldi is about to sign a contract with the Red Sox. Another name crossed off the list. The Diamondbacks have signaled they are willing to sell. They already traded Goldschmidt to the Cardinals. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.